Today, I will be talking you through a long trade that I am in on Bitcoin. No take profits have been hit yet, so I'm still looking for further continuation. I'll be explaining exactly why I'm in this long, where I'm looking for next, and how to approach managing this trade. So let's go straight into it. No more, no nonsense. From the last video, we were obviously trading at a lower point in the chart. From there, I was explaining, wait for the reaction at the next level above us. And until then, it's still long and chill. We had no reaction at any level and we just kept remaining long and chill. No shorts in the end, looking for over $30,000. This was, of course, posted before the action came. Our action came, we remain long and chill. And, you know, if it's not clear by now, no short trades to be had. Target, $31,070. We hit that. Rejecting at the daily and I was explaining to my team why I'm looking for a now, you know, decrease in price before I get into my next long. Why was that? I had this lovely harmonic, which gave us our really nice confluence down at the daily there, $29,884. We just had a swing failure pattern of our level. We've just had a long trade entry and that is why I'm in it now. And that was a quick two minute walkthrough to explain how we remained long and chill up until this price target where we had a harmonic form and we were looking for a pullback to 29884. We saw that yesterday. I explained to my team why I have now take a long trade off of that. We've basically been planning for this for nearly a week, waiting for that daily level. We hit that daily level yesterday. That was the long trade. We've planned the trade. That's trade. <laughs> We've planned the trade. Let's trade the plan. Let's enter the longs and here we are. So I'm not here to take profit one yet. I've actually just finished a daily morning live stream update uh, where I've explained to my team why I have not hit that take profit. Um, basically, also something that I'll explain to you, which is going to be interesting, is you can currently see we have bearish CVD divergences as well, right? So a lot of newer traders, you know, they're just going to see this bearish CVD divergences. Um, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is bearish. This is uh, going to move down from here. Well, I'm telling you, this is, in my opinion, leading. Thus, as I've explained to my team in a live stream, this is not for me a short at the moment. This is not for me a take profit. I'm looking for higher and, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll see if I'm right or wrong, but I'm looking for this high to be taken out. Next level then above us is going to be this moving on to the anchored view app. OK, then we got this nice daily above us. But uh, the anchored view app, we've got this potential recipe of this high, right? So this is a level that I'm aware of intraday uh, as it lines up with a nice Igor session NPOC too. So we do have some nice confluence there moving on to this daily. Uh, but as it stands, long, again, swing failure patterns. Something got you've got to be aware of, right? Swing failure pattern here. We rejected from the CC Fibonacci from high to low into the CC. We've come back down to swing fair pattern this previous low onto the daily, which was also the value area low at the time. So we also had what we were looking at when I was looking for this retrace. Okay, we're looking at this as the value area low. So you can see there's the value area low. And the post that I made, you know, this was back on, hmm, I should have been back on the 25th of June, you know, wait for the, you know, wait for the price to drop to the lower values within the value area. So we got this really nice value area low here, uh, which sat on top of the daily. So you can see the real good confluence that we had for that long, by the way. Uh, but yeah, we finally swing for a pattern this previous low onto the daily, onto the value area low. Just real nice confluence, you know, planning that trade for around a week uh, into the trade. Not hit take profit one yet. Looking for higher. Um, again, we do have bearish divergences. A lot of people will view this as naturally bearish. Uh, enter their shorts here with their invalidation above the high uh, or take profit one, in my opinion, early. So I'm looking for higher, remaining long. Um, then take it up to my next level above us, which was around the anchored view up to the daily. If I do get a bearish reaction there, I'll happily take the short. But as it stands for me, no short, looking for higher, based out of the reaction. If I get that bearish reaction, then of course, of course I'll take a short trade. Uh, if you want live streams before anybody else, updates before everybody else, then of course this is what you get over on the website chartchampions.com. And, uh, you know, of course, we used to just have two live streams a week and now we've got 14 live streams a week. So as you've probably noticed, I'm less active on YouTube, but that's because we're putting a lot more time into the Champions membership. So if you want that membership, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. So all my time and effort goes into it, along with the rest of the coaches. So thank you ever so much for watching this quick update. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope it's all made sense. And uh, yeah, I'll, I actually have to run out now. So this video will be uploaded in about two hours time uh but yeah long and chill it's all explained in my daily morning live stream update for you all today over on the website but yeah this video will be uploaded in about two hours cheers everybody thank you and that's me signing out goodbye